So Sarah Davies is also up at 80 kilos here. I would say surprisingly heavy for her to be out. I mean, I wouldn't have thought she's going to be out for a good 10, maybe more than 10 attempts before she comes out. And uh, the first lift starts in three minutes, but perhaps she likes to take much smaller jumps as she gets closer. Yeah, could also be they may anticipate a lot of movement here. We've seen this before. I mean, 86 is the opening lift, but uh, beyond that, 92 to 96 basically covers the entire rest of the spread here Yeah. Uh, until, obviously, the two top snatchers. But those one kilo movements, we see a lot of coaches put in just a kilo or two less, maybe three kilos lower than what they're actually going to take, uh -huh. and then make that final adjustment right before. There's Schweitzer, Germany. Looks like she probably had about 70 on the bar. So worth reminding everybody, this is an Olympic category. And the way that you get to the Olympics, this qualifying procedure is, uh, well, you've got to compete a few times, but you have to put up one big total. And that big total is ranked against all other athletes in your category. The top eight are guaranteed spots at the Olympic Games. And there are a few other placements for next highest in each continent. Uh, a few other reasons why you might be able to go. But these athletes will all be looking to try and secure a spot in the top eight. Of course, there are future competitions which may disrupt that. I know that Julia Messerandino is certainly capable of getting up into that top eight now. The winning total from the World Championships, of course, was from Lara Toma, 256 kilos. The eighth highest total, 241. Julia ended up with 233. She placed ninth, and ninth happened to be eight kilos below eight. So she's going to have her work really cut out for her if she wants to move up into that top eight. But, of course, we do need to consider the fact that we have two Chinese athletes in there. There are two American athletes in there. So once we've removed those, because countries can't send two in the same category, she's technically currently sat in seventh. Yeah, she'll definitely be looking, though, to improve that total as much as possible. She's kind of in a good spot for it, too, at this meet, because obviously Loredana is going to be pretty far ahead. Uh, so there's really not a huge concern to be chasing after that first place. Uh, unless things don't go according to plan for the Romanian. But she could work, work on building that total as much as possible. Yeah, she was just on the bar there, just 15 kilos. She'll be obviously last out. She pretty much knows that there are 27 attempts before she comes out. Not going to be too difficult for her to uh, start uh, warming up and timing that opening attempt. Now it's under one minute to go until this category kicks off the women's 71s certainly goes down as one of the more highly anticipated sessions of this european championships and such an incredible european championship so far it's been not just in terms of the quality of the lifting uh but also just the the set the location um everything about this european championships has been pretty extraordinary for continental championships i mean this goes down as easily being up there with the best the best world championships venues and events that we've ever seen yeah. yeah, I'm actually really enjoying these dark venues. Mm -hmm. We've been in several venues. We were in Bahrain uh, for the Asians last year. They did a nice dark venue like that this. It's off, looks really nice. Just does a great job of highlighting the athlete, too. You get that big spotlight on them. Yeah, it fell into the World Championships in Bogota. So there are a few more distractions. You know, you could look around, but right now it's almost like we're in a cinema. Yeah. You know, everything is dark, and there's this one spotlight, and everybody's focused in on it. Really makes for a more interesting event yeah so Erin has already bumped up a kilo from 86 to 87 that's where she is going to open at you can see her just ready to come out now looks calm big smile on the face there before she comes out so at the European Championships last year she was unable to register a snatch so if she makes this, this will be her first international snatch registered. Oh, oh she's on the board. Yep. She's got one. <laughs> She was a little bit forward on that. She jumped back a little bit. You could see her land on her toes. Yeah. Probably just a bit of nerves. <laughs> Obviously, the last time was not so hot in the snatch. But yeah, and there's some relief. Yeah, yeah, well, she went a kilo up on what she had opened with last year. She took three attempts, 86. So 
maybe just a little psychological win to bump up a kilo and then making that those are the nerves gone so she's probably going to be following herself here she's obviously not going to take 88 we'll see her bump i'm sure from yeah. there there's Stu martin just taking care of that job it seems unlikely that she'll get up towards her absolute personal best she told us she's made 96 kilos this year in 2023 in training i'd be surprised if she's able to make jumps of that size but we might see her push up towards 94 if she takes uh, three or four kilo jumps 93 that kind of range 90 is the weight that she's currently just asked for and the winning total from the b group we ought to be aware of because yesterday that winning total from the b group became a silver medal in the total only one athlete could beat it in the men's 73s. So uh, Lena Gouda from Denmark, 93-120, a 213-kilo total. That's enormous coming from a B session. Well, changed 91. to 91 now. Four-kilo jump. She may well be looking to go for 95 on her third yeah. attempt. Yeah, very possible. Yeah, she definitely looks strong on that opener, just a little bit off. I think you can see in the background there, it looks like... Uh, Julia's got somewhere around 85, 90. 90 yeah. yeah. Again, surprisingly heavy for an athlete who's likely going to open up at at least 100 kilos. There's no way she'll open up below 100. She snatched yeah. 110 at the World Championships, which may well have been a medal in this category. You know, something we've seen in some of these competitions as far as the warm-ups go, uh, either, either as a result of poor planning or just poor execution of the plan, uh, some athletes had to take huge jumps. They missed maybe one or two warm-ups uh, in order to actually come out and make their opener. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably, that 110 from Julia Misrandino at the World Championships was seventh in the snatch. That's how strong this category yeah. is internationally. Yeah, it's really solidifying itself as one of the most competitive. We've got so many of the top athletes from so many countries. Mm -hmm. But the best in the world here, Loredana is competing today. So she's on the board, first international snatch, four kilo jump to 91. She's been undergoing some issues with her shoulders, so hopefully those don't trouble her today. Much That's better, a, yeah. yeah. It's way nicer. Yeah, that first one was most likely uh -huh. just nerves. She really did a great job on that lift. Yeah, shook the cold bubs out. That was uh, spot on there. She sunk down a little bit deeper in the catch, but I was right where she needed it. No need to chase that one forward. So now she's probably going to get quite a bit of rest. We saw a four kilo jump. I imagine she'll take at least 93 here as a declared weight so she can wait for all yeah. these other attempts. These other three athletes are probably going to shake out here at 93. Mm -hmm. We'll see if, if any of these stick. Yeah, we've already just seen a change go in yep. for Martina Delega. First one. From Poland. She's gone up to 94. Let's see if Celia Gold does the same thing. Stu Martin's there ready and waiting to make a move if need be. He's got to manage two as well because we're not sure if uh, yep. Sarah Davies is going to open at 94. He I would have thought that Stu will be just working with Sarah Davies because there are four coaches from Great Britain in the back room now. Two with Sarah, two of Aaron, so I think right. he will only need to be worrying about one athlete. The British invasion, an entire, entire yeah. coaching staff there. Yeah, it's a pretty big team, actually. Four, <laughs> four coaches here. So I think uh, Iglo from Iceland will be out, 93. This is a kilo shy of her best. You would imagine, considering that she snatched 101 kilos in training this year, that this 93 hopefully won't pose too much of a problem for her. Oh, pretty good lift. She did let her hips come up a little bit fast yeah. there off the floor. 
Those hips moved up and the bar did not move with them. It stayed a little bit forward. That's why she had to step forward to get under and yeah. save it. Yeah, a little bit forward, but. Yeah. Not a big deal with a lighter weight, but as it gets heavy, high. Yeah. if she doesn't control that, it's going to be a little bit more exaggerated. So up to 94 kilos. Technically, that's Sarah Davies coming out quite early for an athlete who's snatched over 100 kilos as many times as she has, but also... Yep, she's bumped now to 97. Yep, maybe she's going to bump, and she has, yeah, 97 kilos. So this brings out Dolega for now. She's only done 90 internationally. So this is a big opener for her. There she is. So you'll notice uh, that's actually her father there and her coach, yep. Marcin Delega. One of three brothers, Yeah. Marcin, Robert, and Daniel, all lifted at different levels. Marcin, I think, was yeah. the best of the best. Yeah, world record in the snatch. Yep. Back when that 105 category was just <laughs> so stacked. Yeah. It was hot. Popping off, yeah. I believe is what they <laughs> say. Yeah, it was. No, I don't even remember. Martin Delega had an incredible posture with his head yeah. as he pulled and as he pushed his head through into snatch. An extremely wide grip. Let's see if his daughter lifts similarly. Well, pushes yeah. his head through, but not as much as him, but that's a great start. Still, a, yeah, very similar style, yeah. very similar uh, technique. But that's a, a huge international increase for her. Yeah. Four kilos over her previous best. Yeah, that's a great way to open up. You know, it makes you wonder sometimes the, uh, the children of great lifters are a little bit different in their, in their abilities than their parents where I, we spoke to. I remember speaking to Nork Vardanian. Yeah. He said that his legs were a lot stronger than his father's. And so right. it changed his, his lifting technique a little bit. His father had a much stronger back. Of course, Kaki Asanidzi we saw yesterday. Yeah. A little bit different also. 94 now for City Gold of Israel. Very yep. fast pull. She's strong. Yeah, big pull there. But was a little far back. You can see she's kind of vertical. Yep. Bar's moving back a little bit. When you're vertical and the bar's moving back, it's really only one way you can go and that's to stand up and step back yeah that's the only thing that you can do yeah see yeah very upright oh just barely yeah you know when you've got a slight incline you do have that benefit of tucking the hips under putting the shoulders back sort of straightening the torso to try and get your body weight back further backwards behind the bar and bring it forwards <laughs> but you can't do that if you're already straight yeah so. Aaron Barton third attempt a three kilo jump this will be absolutely huge for her one of her best ever snatches first one was a little early just a little bit of nerves it looked like yeah second was very clean Uh, just a little bit behind. She jumped back from that bar at yep. the top. Didn't bring it with her. But 91 is still a major improvement. Still a good from, place to be. Yeah, her last meet. Yeah, like you said, just a little hop back of the feet. And the bar didn't come back with her. But, you know, she told us having been you know she's an athlete who's not competed nationally she said or particularly much she said uh, she's just incredibly grateful to be in the a group alongside some of these amazing lifters she told us that it, it blows her mind so that's kind of cool yeah it's always great when an athlete can really savor those moments appreciate yeah. it you know because a lot of times you're so focused on your own lifting or focused on what you need to do that you might not uh, acknowledge the experience so, Daniela German from Sweden is up. An athlete who will catch in almost any position she needs to make a lift. Strong. Yeah, yeah that's pretty. 
Good opener. Wonderful. This has been a very solid snatch session yeah, it so has. far. Only one miss. And on a third attempt, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, very good. All successful openers. And it, it's shaping up to be pretty close here as well. These are all within a few kilos yeah. of each other. 91 to 95 right now. Still obviously a lot of lifters to open, but yeah, we could see uh, a pretty good battle here for you know, potentially third place in the snatch. I glow up next. Second attempt, a three kilo jump for her. This will move her up into the lead. Five athletes still yet to open. Yep. Oh, wow. Good lift. Same thing as the first, a little more pronounced, but she went with the bar. She jumped forward yeah. to get under it there. She's not the fastest under the bar, but she looks pretty strong in her upper body. Yep. You can see here the hips come up. She ends up kicking the bar forward, but yeah. scooting her feet under to get under that barbell. It's really what you have to do. You've got to move the feet. If the bar is moving forward or backward, you want to pick your feet up so you land basically under that bar. So, so Sarah Davies will be the next athlete out, 97 kilos for her opener. A pretty heavy opener considering that the most that she's made in training this year is just 98 kilos. But she said she's been focusing predominantly on her consistency and that she's feeling extremely strong right now. So hopefully that consistency, consistency will help her out. Of course, she had a bit of a wrist injury earlier this year, which she is happy to say that she's on the other side of now. That's great. Oh, yeah, great opener. And she has this amazing technical, uh, I don't know what you call it, feature where her hands actually move in on the snatch. Yeah. You know, occasionally we see an athlete, we saw it in the jerk yesterday of Andrea Bozidar. We see it with a few top athletes, her hands move out slightly. She actually comes in, which you'd imagine would make things a little bit more difficult because the bar has to move a little bit higher. But of course, you become a touch more stable with that narrow grip as well. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, it's one of those things that it's unlikely. I mean, I would be shocked if anyone ever taught someone that. No, she said that she doesn't know how or why she doesn't. Yep. She doesn't recommend others try it. Yeah, it's almost the kind of thing you can't get rid of either. No. Here's Martina DeLega. Ninety-seven. This is seven kilograms over her previous record. Wow. wow. That is unbelievable. The speed under yeah. the bar and then Amazing. it wanted to go back behind her. I don't know how she had the strength and mobility to prevent that bar from going where it was trying to go. Yeah, you know, you can really see the lineage of <laughs> exceptional snatch ability there. The fact that she Look was able that. to save that lift, just fantastic. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah. And that looked pretty maximal, but she does have one more attempt. Celia Gold now back out, 97 kilos. She was very strong in her opening attempt. Maybe pulled it a little bit too far back behind her. She had to take a couple steps back to save it. But the pull was fast and strong. Oh, much better than yeah. the first. I mean, it's a similar thing, isn't yeah. it? She, she jumps back, she pulls it high, and she uh, catches it. More like a deck chair that's folded up than yeah. the one that's open, I suppose. But yeah. super was, upright as wasn't well. Wasn't moving back. But it was nicer than the first. This has been an, the best, maybe the best snatch session so far. We've seen only one miss on the yeah, third. Yeah, amazing. And we still have four athletes out. Monica Marat, who I think will be coming out now. 
just 19 years of age. In fact, I think she turned 19 just early this month. Also from Poland here. Yeah, the two Polish athletes are the two juniors in the session. Oh, great snatch. Yeah. Caught that perfectly and then sat down just an inch or two more to stabilize it. Uh -huh. Great lift. Yeah, very snappy, great lockout. Barely any wobble in the catch. Yeah, look at that, perfect. Let's see here what actually transpires. 98 for Delega. That's only a kilo up from what she just took. I'd be surprised if they actually take that yeah. 98. It's a small jump. Even the last one was hard. It was. I think 99 is probably where she's going to go. Yeah. Yep, we've seen the bump to 99. So now it's going to be Celia Gold. Nope. She moved as well. So yeah, all but two lifters on the board right now have 99. Yeah. Now we see some more movement, though. So Lisa Schweitzer has also just bumped up to 100 kilos. Wow. Yeah. That's three athletes with 100 or more written in for their openers. The only three yet to come out. Lisa Schweitzer at 100. Julia Misserendino at 100. She might bump that up slightly. And Loredana Toma at 105. She also might bump that. You have to wonder how many of these athletes want that 100 kilo badge yeah. on their uh Well, quite a few career. already have them. You know, Sarah's got one. Lisa. Uh, yeah. Monica. Julia, of course. So a fair few of these athletes have entered that 100 kilo club, but still no one's come out to meet it. We do see here, it's probably going to be Strilla Daughter. Yeah, Sarah Davies also has just bumped up from 99 to 100. And so, yeah, Strilla Daughter from Iceland will take her third attempt now. Another three kilo jump. And a uh, five kilo personal best. She told us that she's had really, really great training. She's feeling stronger, more confident with these heavy weights. And she snatched 101 kilos in the build-up to this competition. Just a few small injuries bothering her, but nothing said that these other athletes haven't all felt. Oh, you know, it was it's the same thing. The same exact pull the hips came up a little bit quick uh the speed under there just wasn't enough she wasn't quick enough to get the lock out and then it's just not going to be stable there you can see on the replay here that elbow just gives right as she gets overhead because she isn't quite fast enough to lock out yeah you can see here great shot just doesn't quite get there okay so 99 again here for delega this will be a very exciting lift because that second attempt was a bit challenging, to say the least. Her father coaches her and her club in Poland. What a fight yep. for it. You Same know, exact so lift. slow on the pull. Yeah, very much like her father. Father was yeah. quite a bit slower in the pull. He was very over the bar. Very. Uh, but hit an incredibly deep position in the catch. Looking quite similar to him. I think a 200 kilo hang snatch. And a 205 yeah. from the floor, I think he did in training. Celia Gold, final attempt. 99 kilos. 96 was her previous best, so she won't attempt 100 here, but she's edging ever closer to the triple digit snatch. Oh, the yeah, it will almost You were right. Soon. No, I, I think everything about the pull and the initial part of the catch was the nicest so far. Yeah, the best and of them. And uh, I think she she caught it, pushed up with her hips to stand, and that 
Yeah. Initial push with her hips just tilted her torso forward and she had to come back down and settle. Yeah. It might have actually been the thing that saved her in that lift. That bar moving back, get the hips up a little bit. Yeah, we see here. Oh, cool. She actually fell backward a little on there onto her heels. Yeah. Great lift though, three for three. And still, I mean, a very impressive session. Only three missed lifts so far. And finally, we're up at 100 kilos, which means that Lisa Schweitzer from Germany will be opening things up here with 100 kilos. She has a personal best of 103 on the uh, international platform. Very nice. Yeah, very comfortable. Receives the bar very high and then rides uh -huh. it down a few inches to absorb some of that force. But in doing that, she stabilizes it as she gets to the bottom, which is really, really good for her. Yeah, nice lift. Very solid opener, I think. Next up now, Julia Misserandino from Italy. She snatched 110 kilos at the World Championships in Bogota. That's the most she has ever made, I yeah. believe, in training or otherwise. A smooth yeah. opening lift, very strong. Unbelievable technique. Now, she actually missed 105 kilos in the training hall the other day, which was sort of surprising considering the sort of shape that w she's been in recently. Uh, but it was also on her first day. They flew in the night before, the morning before, or that very morning, she front squatted heavy up to 132 kilos, more than she cleaned in jerks. And then it was in the evening she snatched, she made 100, went for 105 and missed it and just called it there. But it looks as though she's going to be able to move ahead of 105 kilos. Yeah in this competition. Not the not the biggest opener, too, for someone who snatches 110. Yeah. We'll see what her plan is here. Yeah, but the World Championship, she opened at 103 kilos. Daniela Gamma now looking for an international best with this 100. Just a little bit of overextension on that. You could see her roll forward to her toes at the top of the pole, yeah. throw the shoulders back, trying to generate power from the hips. Yeah, she's, this is her first competition at 71. She's getting a little bit of weight. She's hit some personal bests in training. 104 kilos she made recently in the gym. 125 kilo clean jerk, she jerked 133 kilos. So Davies is out now. She's been resting a bit. Yeah. That 97 opener, a bit, a bit light. A lot of lifts in between that opener and this one. Very tight competition. This is three kilos shy of her personal best. She made that one in three at the Commonwealth Games, which of course she won. That was back in July. Ooh. Wow, great adjustment. Yeah, what a save. She's made it. Very happy with that one. She does pull off some impressive saves. But a fiercely strong competitor. And very consistent. You know, if we look at her performances from two years ago at the European Championships right up to now, she snatched 101, 100, 102, 103. Down a touch at the World Championships was 99, but she's already back up to over 100 kilos. And she's very consistently, consistently in the high 20s in the cleaner jerk. Daniela German back out now. She just missed 100 kilos a few minutes ago. 
Max, you mentioned an overextension. We'll see if she corrects that here. Just a hair shy there. She's not happy though. 100 was a bit too much for her here. So 101 now. We're getting into some of the heaviest snatches here. I think these next four athletes are really going to be battling it out, maybe kilo for kilo on these placings. Monika Mara from Poland, the junior, taking her second attempt now with 101 kilos. This will be a kilo personal best for her. A little bit slower turnover. You can see as she brings the bar past her knees, gets to the hip. She's leaning back a bit, doesn't have a really great final extension there. So the bar probably feels a bit heavy, doesn't quite get behind the head. Yeah. It's close. It's very very close. close. She's definitely within striking distance to make that. We'll see here what the call is. We have two other athletes with 101 as their second attempt. And then another two with it as their third. Yeah, but I don't think we're going to see those stick. Now, yeah. Lisa Schweitzer has been in for 103 now. She's bumped up. Julia Misrandino is also going to make a change now. Let's see what she goes up to. I'd have thought 104, 105. I think we're going to see Davies move as well. There he is, Stu in the back. Yeah, he's making his change. So, yep, Misrandino bumps to 105. Sarah Davies has also made a change up to 102 kilos. So that's going to bring Mara out again to retake that 101. And I think, Max, we may well see three back-to-back -back snatches from Loredana Toma. Yeah, that's very likely. Uh, actually, I, Oh, Miss Rendina's uh, taking a five kilo Yeah, I think Miss Rendina might, might help break up first and second for Loredana. But I mean, Loredana possibly open above 105 as yeah, well. Yeah, most likely. Okay, 101 kilos, a new personal best on the platform. Better attempt, but just the yeah. same thing, wasn't quite there. She said that her training prior to this had been a little bit difficult due to a, a knee injury, but she reminded us that she will fight to the end. So, though she only made one snatch there, she's not going to give up now. So Sarah Davies, I, th I think, will be our, yep, she'll be our next athlete up. A two kilo jump, very wise to be taking small jumps here. This will move her up into the lead. She's in a great spot because she actually has a stronger clean and jerk than the two athletes who have the opportunity. Well, there are three athletes who can snatch after this, excluding Loredana. Sarah can out clean a jerk, Julia Misrandino and Lisa Schweitzer quite handily. It's just a kilo off her best ever. Uh, uh, she's so close. Yeah. It looked a little bit different. Yeah. On that tech on the uh contact, just a touch forward. She's disappointed in herself. She's gonna have a lot of work now to catch up with these next two athletes, Lisa Schweitzer and Julia Misser and Dino, who we know can snatch a few more kilos on top of anything that Sarah's just hit. But Sarah does have that extra leg strength and just a mindset, a competitiveness that is extremely rare. So Schweitzer here at 103. An equal best, three kilos more than she's hit in yep. the off season but equal to her previous competition.
Oh, wow. Great save there. You could see it a little forward, then she yeah. sank down a bit Brilliant with the bar settle. Fantastic. Great presence of mind, you yes. might say, Max. Yeah. Doesn't quite have that pop at the top, but no. <laughs> she moves under the bar super well. So 103 kilos, that was actually the winning snatch from last year's European Championships, and it was done by Lisa Schweitzer. Not going to be the winning snatch here today. The winning total last year, 224 kilos. I don't even remember, Max. That was Patricia Strenius. She only snatched 94 and then made a huge 10-kilo jump over all the other clean and jerkers and uh, beat Lisa Schweitzer by one kilo and then retired there and then. But 224 kilos, I'm not even convinced that that will be a bronze medal here today. Yeah. So Miserandino taking a five-kilo jump here. This is pretty hefty. Obviously, that first, that 100 was very strong. Very comfortable. I think we're probably going to see Toma open above 105. Yeah. I, I just would be surprised. So someone who snatched the world record to take big jumps here, she really doesn't need it. She can just let these other athletes basically sort it out and then take her last, or take her first. Oh, no, look, Toma's walking out. Oh, wow. Surprising. Maybe she's just yeah. going for the win here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we did see her in the training hall snatch a pretty strong 110, right? Yeah, looked very comfortable. And of course, Laura Dana wasn't at the European Championships last year as Romania faced a nation ban. She is the world record holder in the snatch at 119 kilos. This should prove pretty easy work for her. Yep, very, very light lift. Yep. Didn't catch her with as much height as I perhaps thought she might, but not yeah. a problem for her, really. She doesn't look like she's in the hunt no. for a world record here. She doesn't look particularly happy walking off there. Yeah, a very serious lifter. Not one for the smiles. No. <laughs> before lifting. Pretty intense athlete in the training hall and in the back room. Julia Misrandina now. Second attempt, big five kilo jump. This was the weight that she missed on her first day in the training hall. Oh, beautiful. She's not gonna miss it this time. Yep. Wow, her foot, even as she stood up there, I think her right foot started sliding out. Yeah. She just accesses uh, a couple of inches of depth that these other athletes can't reach. Yeah, beautiful lift. It really helps her just settle down and find a bit of balance in that deepest part of the catch. That's brilliant. Yeah, she's potentially, I mean, she's really put herself in a great spot. Obviously, yeah. I think we saw her as being the second, the silver medalist in the, in the snatch. I but she's, I mean, she's only got 123 as a best in the yeah. clean and jerk, so she, she needs every inch of separation from some of these ath other athletes. Sarah Davies is probably the one who's going to be hunting her down if she wants to get a medal in the in the total. Yeah, she's only five above Davies as of right now. So. Yeah. And a quick reminder that really to get into the top eight right now in the world, you need something right around the 240 total mark, which is massive. Maybe mid-230s might do it. Huge three kilo personal best attempt now for Lisa Schweitzer. No. Oh, she has the strength for it. Yep. You know, maybe another time that's gonna be there. But 103 kilos, she's got a bronze medal in the snatch. That's the end of her campaign, unfortunately. Three attempts remain. One for Miss Rendino, two for Loredana. I think we'll see. Yeah, Miss Rendino taking the three kilo jump, it looks like. Now, will Loredana really come out as light as this for a second attempt? Her 110 in the training hall looked so casual. Italy's making a change. They might be looking for 109. I think we're going to see both possibly take take that 110. Yep, yeah, Loredana's bumped to yep. 110, as has Miss Rendino. Tomo will take it first. 
Will we then see a, a clutch 111 attempt by Miss Rendino for a personal best and a gold medal? Wow, yeah, she's coming out for 110. A bit surprising. This is much lower than we'd expect. Yeah, although we spoke with her physio who told us that she will do what she wants and they don't really know. And if she decides on the day, I fancy taking a go at the world record, she will. Yeah. And if she doesn't, she won't. She'll just save it. So clearly she's woken up this morning and decided that it's not her day. But still, let's not forget how enormous this is for a 71. She pulled that much yeah. faster from the ground. Very strong snatch. Very solid. Current wow. world record holder making easy work of a 110 snatch. Yeah. Both these athletes probably the two most wow. popular fan favorites, I would say, as well. Yeah. It's great to see them going back and forth. Will Miss Rendino take this 110? She's already yeah. in silver. It'd 110 a, will equal her best. Yeah. Yep, she's coming out for yeah. it. That was a smart move for her. She does have to fight in the clean and jerk a lot. Yeah, you know, her reaction when she made 110 kilos at the World Championships was one of the highlights of the entire competition. She was yeah. almost shocked, stunned that she'd made it. She couldn't believe what she'd pulled off. Can she pull it off again? This would be huge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. she pulled it almost maybe a little bit faster yeah. than previous attempts. Didn't have the height, though. No. It doesn't matter that she can get extremely low in the catch. If the bar's not high enough, it's not happening. So, I think she has now. on her shoulder a tattoo. I think it says, if not me, then who? If not now, then when? I think yeah. that's what it says. Yeah, there. in English. In English, yeah. Yeah. No, I just translated that fluent. No, <laughs> it's in English. Well, I just saw it said, if not me... And then that's all I could see. But I think that goes on to be, I've just heard that before. You used your human. If not me, then who? Human large language model <laughs> to, uh, to. That's exactly what I did. Predict. It was next, a predictive model. Next characters, yeah. yeah. So 115, massive lift yeah. still. Well, now that she knows she's got that five kilo lead, she can really yeah. sort of stretch her legs here at 115 kilos. This is one of the biggest lifts you will ever see from a 71 kilo woman. Four kilos below her world record. Oh, yeah, no, throws her behind. Him. Not today. And I think that's the first smile we've seen from her is when she misses a lift. Yeah, well, the tension's yeah. gone now. <laughs> she can relax a bit. Yeah. She's already in gold place, or go first position. I think uh, She's got such a strong clean and jerk. This isn't going to be a challenge for her to win, obviously. No, Boy, but, you know, I don't think she's in the shape that she was at Worlds where she made that 137. Yeah. She missed 140 at the World Championships in the jerk. But yeah, that's true. The other day, we actually saw her press out. It was either 125 or 130. 130 kilos. She cleaned and pressed it out awfully. Uh, and we, well, she then laughed about it. She yeah. gestured to her coach and they, you know, they... Had a bit of a joke about the fact that she just snatched 110 so effortlessly and then pressed out 130. But, yeah. you know, come competition day, come today, you know, hopefully she'll be a little bit more decisive with her with her lockout. But it's a big lead. The, the bronze medal there in the snatch is going to go to Lisa Schweitzer with 103 kilos. The silver to uh, Julia Miserendino, 105. She missed an equal personal best at 110 kilos. And then the gold, no surprises really to the world record holder, the world champion, Lauren Hanatoma from Romania, 110 kilos. Runner-up, though, in fourth place, I believe, Sarah Davies, 100 kilos. Kilo behind her, Celia Gold at 99. So this is a pretty tight session here, Max, and I think what we're about to see is, assuming that Loredana runs away with a decent 130-ish clean and jerk, I think we're going to see Sarah Davies hunt down some of these athletes. Yeah. You know, Lisa... Schweitzer only has a three kilo lead over Sarah Davies. Sarah Davies has, 
I think eight, no, tw a 12 kilo personal best over Lisa Schweitzer in the clean and jerk. And uh, she's got nine kilos more than Julia Misrandino in the clean and jerk. She could actually move ahead of both of them. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you see the entire list reshuffled mm. itself almost in the opposite order. Yeah, it may right. well be that it's, it becomes Julia versus Lisa for bronze. Yeah. And very, actually Sarah might be true. able to just quite comfortably with a lot of work, but she might be able to just jump into that silver medal slot. And knowing her, if she has an opportunity, she might just take the final lift. Yeah. Just to, you know, stick it to Loredana and say, <laughs> I'm, I'm at least going to try it. Yeah. I, I think I that's very surprised. possible. Yeah. Great session. That's and uh, only one athlete making a third snatch there. Wow. Yeah. So, but every athlete making their opener. Yeah. We've absolutely not seen that before. Only two athletes missing second attempts. That's the best we've seen. 30 attempts, 19 made lifts, 11 misses. That's pretty good. But you have to wonder, Max, are these third attempts poorly selected? If every, all but one athlete is missing, you know, wh where does the fault go there? Is that uh, the fault of the coach? Is it the fault of the athlete? Yeah, well, you know, it's one of those questions where is it uh, uh, an issue of uh, strategy and tactics or is it an issue of execution? You see a lot of people take attempts that, you know, they make, make all three, and then you're a few kilos behind. And the question was, did you just play conservatively? Had any of these lifters bumped down and maybe made those seconds their mm -hmm. thirds? We'd be saying they were successful, but potentially not aggressive yeah, enough. Yeah. I do think it was interesting, you know, considering the ending snatch here was 110 uh, from the current world record holder. That could have been a different, a different type of session, you know, had mm -hmm. other lifters been a little bit closer, a little bit tighter there, had uh, Mr. Andino made 110, you know, it would have been a different field for sure. Obviously not on the total, but in the snatch. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting category to, to monitor over the next 15. Well, I mean, really 12 months is going to be that last. We've got 12 months of qualifying period left before the Olympics. Yeah. These next 12 months will be interesting. We have, obviously, Loredana has the heaviest total so far at 256 kilos. She's pretty much set to head to the Olympics, as are several of these other athletes. You know, uh, Angie uh, Palacios from Ecuador, she's got an enormous 252 kilo total. Uh, there are two Chinese athletes, uh, Zhang Tiantian and Liao Guifang. But again, both of those athletes, there's a very good chance that neither will be sent. Yeah. Because, you know, China gets three women, three men. Very true. And why send an athlete who isn't even number one ranked when there are plenty yeah. of other number one ranked Chinese lifters? And so when we remove those two, we remove one of either Olivia Reeves or Kate Vibert. You know, suddenly there's three athletes gone and... Uh, making the top eight suddenly not quite as difficult as it may once have been. Yeah, I think we're going to see that really flesh out a bit more after Worlds this year. We're going to see where everyone stands, what these totals are. Obviously, the Asian Championships coming up next month, just a few weeks, yeah. really. Uh, we'll see what happens there, what transpires. Uh, this class, like you said, though, might not be a priority for a country like China. So yeah. will they really uh, put a lot of effort into sending athletes and do you remember the uh, totals of the two Americans at the Pan American Championships this year? Did did Kate move back ahead of Olivia, or did Olivia yeah. retain that U.S. lead? I believe Kate snatched 110 kilograms. Yeah, that's right. And then clean and jerked. Uh, 138, it says here. Yeah. So, okay, so Kate beat Olivia by a kilo, totaling 248 kilos, which moves her back ahead of Olivia Reeves. So they both lifted significantly better at the Pan American Championships than they yep. did at the World Championships. So that shuffles things up a bit. And and one more US 71 lifter, uh, Meredith Alwine as well, mm -hmm. will be attending the World Championships, possibly in Cuba for the Grand Prix as well. Yep. And we'll see. World champion. Yeah, she's a world champion. She's not Pan American as champion. Yeah. Not as capable in in either lift, she's done big lifts. I don't know, clean and jerk. Yeah, she's done the 140 clean and jerk, yeah, I believe. You know, but, uh, that's that's as much or more than, than the other two yeah. are hitting. But the snatch may be lagging by yeah, five kilos. or six kilos. It's also the question, especially there, as to what uh, the youngster Olivia Reeves can do. Uh, because whatever she can do now, it's, it's, it's going to be five kilos more, yeah. ten kilos more in a year's time. She's yeah. an absolute phenom 
Yeah, super strong. What did she score? Was it 200 for oh, five? I think 210 or something. Yeah. Uh, and she only trains three days a week. She does, what yeah. we've heard, yeah. yeah. You know, what, what happens when she bumps it up to four? <laughs> yeah, five. right, yeah. We went out for dinner last night with uh, Sergei Putsov. Yes. And we, we spoke a lot about different training methodologies of, of countries around the world. He told us that he, when he was part of Ukraine, you know, they would train generally nine sessions a week, but in certain times that would be yeah, 12. 12. He said they did 600 reps a week in, in as hard yeah. as training. And, and they only count that at 70% yeah. and up. Which is an absolutely extraordinary number. Yeah, for those of you who count your volume. That's uh, pretty high. Although I heard that at the OTC back in the 90s, uh, Chris LaRue. Chris LaRue, that's, a, yeah, that's the name I was hunting for. He Maybe said that he wants it a 1,000 reps. Yeah, I think that was the story, was that he yeah. did more volume than Dragomir Sirislan's best Yeah, but I think that training. was just to try and beat it yeah. rather than a yeah. consistent thing. Yeah, you know, I guess do you, do you count misses. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you. How many extra sets do of you? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Can you really add in there? Yeah, so. yeah. But yeah, enormous amounts of training from some athletes, and then others we see very different, a very different level yeah. there. So, one ten for Schweitzer will be. See, that has to be a bit yeah. worrying for her. The bronze medalist in the snatch, first out in the clean yeah. and jerk, scary position to be in. I think I think this number is probably going to move up a tiny bit, but you know we said we see a bunch here in the pack, basically between 13 and 20. Here's 105 by Delega, technically great. Yeah, very Perfect similar style out. to her father in the jerk as well. There's Marcin. He's still pretty big. Yeah, it looks like he still gets uh, a few workouts. We were in. talking about some of these athletes that we've seen in the past, and you see them five or ten years later. Did you mention to me earlier, was it Chigachev you were talking about? Yeah, yeah. And Quite when you saw smaller. him in an interview years later, he just looked like a, you know, an average guy. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you see athletes, they, they stick around the sport. Maybe they become coaches. Mm -hmm. they, they stay involved. And some athletes just completely move on and do other things. No need to maybe – they, maybe they never want to see the gym again. Yeah, yeah. No, you missed it today, Max. We cracked out the grip strength. Oh, again. Uh, whatever it's called, grip strength tester, something yeah, like that. Yeah, the dynamometer. Y yeah, uh, in the training hall. And uh, Alexi Trocti is the owner of the of the little machine. And uh, we went around trying to get more athletes to register their one rep maxes. I felt somewhat uh, relieved, vindicated by some of the Georgians not being anywhere near as strong as I thought. Yeah. Suddenly, you and I were looking a little bit more... Competitive. A little better, yeah. A little better, yeah. Moved us up the rankings. Certainly did. Um, some of them barely beating Loredana Tomo, and we're talking about 109 kilo Georgian men. Yeah. Barely moving more than uh, than Loredana. Lasha eventually was coaxed into having a go. He registered a large score, but not as much as we thought. I mean, 102 kilograms worth of force he produced. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we might have to get Dave Sawyer onto it wow. with his with his good hand. See what he can do. <laughs> I'd love to know. Yeah, I you know I I think the highest score still belongs to an Armenian coach. Yeah, somewhere yeah. in the 118 or 120 range. Yeah, uh, a sleeper. Uh, another sleeper. I mean, you have to imagine someone like Dave, who self-proclaimed laid a thousand bricks a day. Oh. And yeah. presumably he was picking up bricks by the handful. Yeah. I bet he's got an incredibly strong. He might break the mitt. machine. <laughs> he may well. It says E R R O R. What what does that mean? <laughs> Yep, just like what we thought, this? we saw Schweitzer move up to 15. So that brings Monica Marak out. And Schweitzer's best clean and jerk is 120. So 113 is going to be the opener for Monica. Now, again, though she only went one for three, she is a great technician, just opening a little bit heavier. Oh, tough clean. Yeah. Uh. Oh, she's sent that bar. 
Gives up on it, lets it roll in. Luckily, the judges are protected by Didn't that. Didn't even flinch barrier, those judges. Yeah. She was. I'd have at least sort of backed up a little bit, but yeah, I mean that's. I you have to wonder why the opening, especially a junior, you know, yeah. a junior athlete opening this heavy, three kilos under her best. She's just had a tough day in the snatch, and you put her up at a weight where, you know, it looks pretty close to a maximal front squat. Uh, the sort of lift where recovery between attempts is going to be much more difficult, far more strenuous. Yeah, the, the difficult question here is, do they want more rest? What do they do? You know, she made the effort all the way through that lift. She's going to be tired. Yeah, I think Lena Gouda from Denmark in that B category is going to beat a few of these athletes. Yeah, she's going to hold Two, on to something yeah, for sure. 213. She, she hit a massive 120 in the cleaner jerk. Looks like she's gone up yeah. to 114 kilos. Well, you know, the, the question is, though. Is German going to come out? Does German stay here? I mean, all she has to do is take a kilo more at 115. Looks like it. She is coming out. Okay. But she could have been a bit nasty there. Pulled the rug on Mara. She made 125 kilos in training, so this, again, hopefully not too difficult. Strong. Good jerk, just slightly forward yeah. there. You can see he didn't quite get the head through as yeah. much as I think a lot of us would like to see. Very straight back leg. Lower back a little bit hyperextended because of that. But she's very powerful. I've, I've seen a bench press 100 kilos. Wow. Yeah. I think maybe even at 105, something like that. I think I saw her strict press 70 kilos. Yeah. Which is unbelievable. Yeah, maybe all the bench pressing is causing that part to yeah. forward a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Monica now, second attempt, 114. She bumped up a kilo after that miss. And that attempt looked very heavy. It's yeah, no margin for error here. If she doesn't get the perfect bounce in timing, she won't even get up with this. Oh, much better. Yeah, that's yep. quicker. Uh, just isn't getting it there. You no. can see the arms aren't even locking out. No this belt a, either. Yeah, a tough position to be in. It's got to be infuriating because... You know, she didn't have the best snatch day and to uh, come to the clan and jerk, maybe overreaching for what she can do. Yeah. Mentally very stressful. You know, at 19 years of age, the most important thing really is to fall in love with the sport and keep wanting to turn up and compete. But when you have potentially an embarrassment like this in front of such a massive audience, such a large stage, it can be quite harmful. Well, on the brighter side, <laughs> she, she may come back out and make this. Yeah. She was closer than the second. Yeah, what do you think she's got to do on that jerk, Max, to nail she's, this one? You know, she's pushing herself away from the bar a little bit on the, on the split, and it looks like she's just a little hesitant or tentative to get under. You know, when, a, when the weight feels that heavy in the clean, it can get into your head a bit. So she's just got to get that bar behind her head in the actual split. That's the first step. So, German here, 115, coming out, or on the board. Nope, that's an adjustment. Delega, 115. Yeah. I think we're probably going to see... Monica's just bumped again. Yeah. We're probably going to see a bunch of attempts here. A lot of lifters want to get on the board. Yeah. They're all right there in those high 90s in the snatch. The best chance they have of you know, getting as high on this ranking as they can is to be successful, so... Yeah, making 115 be good for her. This is already a, a personal record for her in competition. Yeah. Best is only 111, but she's done significantly more in the snatch, so this may not be that tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if a clean and jerk is anything like a snatch, it's going to be very slow in the pull, but strong positions.
That was a tougher clean. She's a little bit forward. Wow. Snappy jerk, though, really sharp. All right, so she's on the board here. We've got 115 now. This is going to bring at Monica for her third attempt. She was unsuccessful on both attempts at 113. The increase to get a little bit of rest at 114. She's bumped another kilo yeah. for 115. Her best ever in competition is 116. She has to make this to stay, well, to total, be in the competition. It's a good clean. Yeah, best of the three. Can she get it back behind her? Oh, yeah. It was just, actually a pretty straight dip and drive. Yeah, the dip and drive wasn't the problem. Just no commitment on the no. split. You could see her. She got the back foot down, but then barely even touched the front foot to the floor. Yeah, it's not good for Monica bombing out her second senior European championships. She uh, took the bronze medal last year. With 215 kilos in the total, which is just so far behind the, the level that we have this year. Opening attempt for Iceland, Iglo. Her best is 119, so this is close. Big opener for her. Yeah, 120 she made in the tr in the training and the build up to this. Ooh, very tough yeah. clean. Well, the bar was just going back, and she had to find some balance. Wow. Yeah. Very, very impressive. Yeah. Strong upper line. body. That clean was really not the way you want to see an athlete no. do it. She. She caught it, rocked back to her heels, and then didn't even bother to balance and then find a double bounce. And Grinding, despite that common yeah. cue, you can't really stand up yeah. particularly strong when the weight's too far back in the heels. Yeah, watch this. The hips come oh. back. Grinding out that first queen. Yeah. It's definitely not confidence-inspiring when it's that no. tough. But she was successful with the jerk. Kind of all over the place there. But if she can catch that clean mid-foot, she'll stand up with that a lot quicker. Yeah, Yeah, there's a lot of room there. A little better technique. That might be a very easy second attempt. So we're creeping up towards that 120 mark. Six athletes still to open. And the three medalists, well, the top four, top five athletes after the snatch still haven't opened up. Martina DeLega, I think, may well come out now. Just a two kilo jump, probably wise. Her opener was already a new personal best. Yeah, it was a little bit off balance on the first clean. Waiting for, he's using that clock, six seconds. Very slow, but yep. so impressive. Much better clean there. Quick rebound. Well, oh, beautiful Tremendous jerk. Tremendous jump. Yeah, yeah she's, she's happy with that one. She knows it. What a lift. Yeah, really solid. Very rhythmic lift. Just perfect catch, bounce, no wasted energy anywhere. What do you think she can power clean? Oh, I wouldn't think very much. No. Yeah. Sub 100 kilos, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, probably on the lower end of that spectrum. Yeah, definitely. But beautiful jerk. Wouldn't be surprised if she outsnatches it. All right, so we've got 118 now. For the opening attempt of Celia Gold of Israel, the only athlete to make all three snatches. 
She ended up with 99 kilos, which was a personal best by 3 kilos. Her best clean and jerk heading into this is 121, so a very heavy opener for her. Strong pull. Yeah. Finds her balance here. Yeah, very good jerk. The bar comes forward a little bit, but yeah. once she actually locks out, she ends up getting herself back under it. Yeah, she's physically very strong compared to a lot of these other athletes. Yeah, you can really see it. A little bit less efficient than, let's say, uh, Dolega. Yeah. Uh, kind of almost the opposite, really. But far more strength than Dolega possesses. Yeah. Now, at least, you know, she's still a junior. She's got time to gain strength. Yeah, very good. With the lifter like Delega, once you give her a bit more time to add technique, to, sorry, to add strength to that technique, yeah, she might look a little bit more like. Uh, yeah, she gets more powerful. Top lifter, yeah. Okay, Erin Barton now, 118 kilos. This is quite large. The most she made last year at the European Championships was 114 kilos. If she makes this lift, she will have her first international total under her belt. Very strong, yep. bit forward. Oh, powerful Solid. jerk. Yeah. Yeah. That first clean, just like her first snatch, was a little bit forward to that on the toes. Well, as we've mentioned, 127 kilos is the most that she's yeah. made in training. Massive lift. What happened there on the clean, Max? She just forward. Yeah, she just caught it on her toes. Bars a little bit forward as it passed the knee. She moved herself to the bar just a, a touch and ended up, you know, landing right on the toes. So Lisa Schweitzer, this is gonna tell us a lot about the way this competition is going to unfold. The bronze medalist in the snatch at 103 kilos with Sarah Davies hunting her down, three kilos deficit in the snatch. Yeah, just a kilo from her best. Mm -hmm. Such a heavy opener. Tough yeah. stand, not got the best bounce. Wow, very solid. It's, it's solid. Yeah. I, there's not a whole lot left nope. in there. She's got to stabilize. She has to stabilize here. I don't know what's going to happen. I think that's. I think that's fine. Th one red. One, one red. red. We're yeah. going to keep our eye on the jury, but they're not moving. I, th I think no. things are okay. She just doesn't look like she wants to find a strong bottom position there. Yeah, you know we. we had not a strong bounce. Seen that? You know the the catch and basically just trying to grind through it to get up. Yeah, it's really a challenge to do that. It just eats up so much energy, makes everything feel so much worse by the time you actually stand as well. Daniela German now second attempt. Oh, again, so tough. Very tough clean there. Wow. A powerful jerk. Well, you called her out for benching, but I think <laughs> her upper body strength there definitely yeah. helped contribute to that made lift. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a bit, a bit rugged in the oh. clean, but yep. she just pushed through. She does what she needs. Yeah. Grit for sure. Wow. The real question, though, is how much more is left in the tank for a third attempt? 125, her best. Sarah Davies has 122 kilos written in. I imagine that will actually become 123. Essentially, everything that Lisa Schweitzer does, you'd imagine Sarah will do four kilos more. But before we get there, 
we go a few more attempts in this sort of range. The next to Stella Dotter from Iceland. Second attempt now at 119 kilos. Almost as tough yeah. as that opener. Very different looking clean. Wow. She's so powerful yeah. overhead. Quick to the jerk. Yeah. You know, we're seeing actually some similarities in a few of these athletes. That pull in the clean, not quite as efficient as it could be, not as no. powerful. Uh, and so the bar crashes on them. There's some inconsistencies in their balance as they catch the bar. Yeah. Sometimes they're forward in the foot, sometimes they're back. But her jerk, also, I think she lands front foot first in the jerk. Very soft footed. Yeah, you can really see there's a lot of uh, inefficiencies all around. They're very strong, so they're able to fight through these lifts, but I think come those third attempts, it's going to be a big challenge yeah. to be successful. But it's basically the one lifter we've seen so far who is the complete opposite of that, yeah. extremely efficient, very smooth, rhythmic lifting. Martina Delega here. Last one was tough. Big personal record for her, eight kilos over her best. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And when she misses, there actually is nothing left. Yeah. You know, there's no way she could have made that. She does very well. Just the timing of, of the pull and the, the turnover and the perfection of the, the bounce in the catch there. But yeah. just not enough legs to get up with it. Well, she's young, and that's a great, uh, <laughs> it's really a great canvas to work with when yeah. you're that technically efficient. You've got plenty of time here in the coming years to really improve on that. Vasily Gold's asked for 120 kilos, which she might take and then jump to a new personal best on her third of 122-ish. No, we've had a change. She's bumped up to 123, which is massive. A few athletes moving around now. We're back to Daniela German. I'm not sure she wants such a small jump. They've now made a change. I, th I believe. We're not seeing any movement yet. So the name on the board is Daniela German, but it looks like Stella Dotter is expecting to be the next athlete up. Yeah, I think there is probably going to be a, a bump here. Yeah, waiting for a Swedish yep. change. There we go. So we've talked about her technique, you know, the, the difference between the first and second. This one's going to be possibly, again, different. We can see her hips come up a little bit off the floor, and she really needs to bring that bar in and bounce to get up. But she does look like the kind of athlete where if she, if she does get up, yeah. she's probably going overhead as well. Yeah, very strong upper body. So tough, clean. So tough. Amazing. Yep, we made it. If she can hold it, can she hold it though? It's moving. She's, She's going to have to stop it from spinning. Wow. And she waits for the down <laughs> signal and she gets it. Well, it goes to show what I know. She the bar's going off up. the other side of the platform. They're going to have to be quick. Yep. And they, uh, they got it. Stood up from a complete dead stop, the opposite of what we described. <laughs> yeah. Well, on that one, she actually was much better balanced. Yeah, and much she was just not fast enough to meet the bar with enough time to sort of solidify and catch a bounce. Yep. 
and did very well to stop that bar from spinning. That's really not easy to do when it starts turning. Yeah, she's got you know, tremendous strength. doesn't want to stop. Okay, Lisa Schweitzer now. Three kilo jump to extend her lead. Of course, three athletes still yet to come out. The two athletes who outsnatched her and then the one athlete who's in the hunt, Sarah Davies, who, as I expected, put in 124 kilos to move ahead of Lisa. But if Lisa makes this, Sarah's going to need even more. But no doubt she's got a few attempts in her. Powerful clean. clean, yeah. Much nicer than the opener. New personal best for her if she makes it. Wow. Yeah, beautiful lift. Yeah, she's really fighting for a uh, a podium spot here. Silver medalist last year. And Julia Misserendino, I think, will be the next athlete out. This is going to equal her personal best yeah, this is a on her opener. Very big attempt for her. She's down five kilos in the snatch. She wouldn't tell us what she's made in training, but she did say that it's a little bit more than this. But I don't believe she's making anything close to 130 uh, kilos necessarily she in training. Actually went she's gone up, up 125, so she'll be coming out with basically a personal best. Celia Gold, second attempt. She looked very powerful on her opener. Again, just like a few of these other athletes, strong in the upper body. Generates a lot of height on the jerk. Great clean there, very strong. Nope. Again, makes a jerk. Very strong. Working her way through a very good total today for herself. Max, you might remember her. She actually competed for the USA back in 2018. It was the Pan American Junior Championships, which she won as a 69 kilo lifter. Then in yes. 2022, she moved, uh, started competing for Israel. Yes, I do remember faintly. That's a very strong lift, a new personal best for her in the snatch and the cleaner jerk. Erin Barton now has two attempts remaining. She's already got her first international total. This to bump it up by a further five kilos. She's been waiting for a long time. That 118 is, it's been a good 10, 12 minutes. Yeah. Now you said you'd heard she'd done about 127 in, in training. training. Yeah. So, possibly within her abilities here. Just jump back away from it. But you have to wonder, maybe that was a uh, all the waiting. down to all the waiting, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. You know, we don't know what they're doing, and there's a bunch of strategies coaches employ. Yeah. You know, if you have all that time, you might have the athlete work up again or do a power clean or... Heavy pull. Yeah. All that looks high enough. Things. She yeah. met the bar. It touched onto her shoulders, just elbows behind the bar. She didn't... Yeah, she didn't, didn't really want commit to, to pushing them through. Commit to that lift. Hopped back a touch. Daniela German now. She really fought through a, a tough clean at 119 kilos. Strong jerk though. Another four kilo jump. This will momentarily move her into third in the total. Can she get up? Oh. Wow. Yeah. She fights for every kilo. She looks she's like she's getting a bit faint. She might have to She's she fighting with it. That. She yeah. knows she has to put it down. You know, and I think everybody here is pretty on edge at the moment with athletes getting faint after seeing one athlete stretch it off the platform back on the uh, 
first day of competition here. Yeah, she did not want to give up on that. But she had yeah. enough sort of consciousness to recognize that the right thing to do there was yeah. to drop it. We've seen a few athletes get beyond that and then just fall. So 123 brings up Barton again. This will be very difficult if you have sort of convinced yourself out of a lift, which it almost seemed like uh, she did on that second attempt. It looked a little bit more like a, a mental decision, yep. more so than a physical obstacle. She might struggle here. Although we know that she's put on a lot of mental preparation for this competition. Keeping her mind in a good place is what she told us has been a focus in her training during this cycle. Yep. Same. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more height in the pull, but yeah. similar Certainly. end result. Certainly. So. She's still credited with 118. Yeah, and a total 209 kilos, all new international bests for her. And still, as we've said before, internationally, a relatively inexperienced athlete. No doubt there is going to be more and more weight that she gets on the bar. Looks like she had a bit of an elbow touch there as well yeah. on the inside of her knee with that right arm, which is going to hopefully not, of course, have too much pain in the wrist. Laura Dana potentially out now. Now 125. An early, an early lift that may well seal the deal. Yeah, it looks. It like is extremely unlikely that, say, Miss Rendina would make 131, or that Sarah Davies would make 136. So this will almost certainly be the gold medal lift in the total. 12 kilos down, and what she made at the World Championships. Oh, yep. very good clean, though. As that telltale <laughs> step, yep. that back foot comes down so much earlier than the front foot. She does move a bit sideways, though, on some of her jerks. Yeah, that was the most, there were more faults in that lift than I've seen accumulated in the rest of her career, I think. <laughs> you know, she got rocked back onto her heels, had to come up from a dead stop, and then here, as you said, she had to shift over to the side, but she holds the lockout. That front foot not moving until late really is beginning to become a bit of a problem for her. Yeah. So huge opening attempt for Ms. Rendino here, 125. New personal best on the competition platform by two kilos. She made 115 in the gym in the training hall a couple of days ago. Wow, That's very a strong. great clean. Wow. That looked casual. Yeah, that looks very was casual. She's wow. happy with that. And She's that was probably going to solidify, well, almost certainly a medal in the total. Yeah, I think the battle we're really going to wait for here is Davies versus Mr. Andino. Yeah, I would be stunned but if, uh, uh, well, yeah. I think Davies will move ahead of uh, Lisa Schweitzer, who still has an attempt left. But I don't think Lisa's is going to be able to move ahead of Ms. Rendino. So Ms. Rendino and Tom are probably guaranteed medals. Well, Davies is taking 26. So 26 is, if she's successful, she'd be just four kilos behind Ms. Rendino here. She's does this move her ahead of Schweitzer? It does. Yes. That's why she's yeah. taking it. She's taking this to move into third. She's the second strongest cleaner jerker in the whole field. And given Thomas opener, she might just be the strongest cleaner jerker here. Yeah, very possible. Oh. 
That's a little bit tough, but she can. Oh, oh, she's gone very faint. She's she's. Yeah, so gonna need here. to get wow. the belt off her quickly. Unexpected. That was a rough attempt. And this is not a great position to be in because should she follow herself, well, she could bump up, and I think she would actually have. I think she'd get some rest because I believe that Lisa Schweitzer and Celia Gold will all want to take 126 or 127. Yeah. But this is not a good place to be for Sarah Davies. Yeah, she's she's still lying there motionless. Beginning to move now. Yeah, she's she's picking herself up. Yeah, potentially right in the middle of that clean. She might have just caught it a bit off balance and and uh as she was coming up, it was almost as if she she pushed through, but as soon as she recovered, she looked to almost hyperextend her yeah. back when she re-racked the clean. A bit tough. But an extremely experienced athlete. Her first international was back in 2014. Of course, she won the Commonwealth Games this year. She's a silver medalist at the World Championships. Mr. Andino moving up now, obviously. Davies is the lifter. She only has the one minute clock. I think she'll jump to 127 because I don't see Lisa anyone Schweitzer moving. and Celia Gold, I think, will. Oh, no, she's just yeah. coming straight back yeah. up. Wow. Yeah, she doesn't want to do a kilo more than she needs. Yeah, potentially a very smart move if she's ready. You know, if that last one was a fluke. Yeah. Getting her composure. She's still got time. It's, it's tough, but it, it is better. Wow. She's got to fight with it. Yeah. She's got to hold it. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. That Phenomenal is lifting there from Sarah Davies. That puts her up into third two reds. place. She's got two reds on the board. She's got two reds. Wow. You know, we saw earlier in this competition, uh, Andrea Katruda pass out, yep. come back within 60 seconds and, and win the whole thing. This is, um, we it's need to see that from our angle, we've, we're sat right to the side. It's very difficult to see the yeah, elbows moving. Challenging for sure. I think it looked like she put it down maybe before the down signal or. Oh really, is that what it was? You know, this has become a, a very hot topic here with the, mm -hmm. the, when is the time to put it down? What does stabilizing the bar really mean? What does the rule say? And who do they have to satisfy? Yeah, this is a, a, a tough situation. Now we can see them reviewing this lift. They've got a freeze frame there. They're looking to see if there's any wobble. There's nothing. Doesn't look anything like they're looking at now. It's surely if there was a press out, it would have happened before then. Or, as you mentioned, is it to do with when she put it down? Did she drop the bar early? Yeah, this is a, a strange scenario here. That looked to be a pretty good lift. And here we can see David Kipshidze is in the mix looking at what happened. I don't think it's a press out because they're not looking at the press out angle here unless they think this will give them any more Yeah, that would be insight. Our, basically our angle they're looking at right yeah, now. Yeah, we didn't far see off that. anything that looked to be a violation. Right here you can see possibly... She's holding it a while. Yeah, waiting for the down. And she lets it go. Yeah. We've got a few different screens up here. Yeah. A bizarre call. I'm, I'm surprised she got two reds. But she looks ready. It doesn't matter. She'll come out and make it. Yeah, now she's... Andy Callard just keeping her cool, and she stays very focused in the back room. I think it's about when did she drop it. I think that's what they're looking for. Well, I think it's the question of did she show control of the bar is my guess. That's probably the only I thing they she could showed great control. call her for. Clearly no press out, no elbow touch. No. If, if I was Sarah, I'd be a little bit confused right now about what they're even looking at. Well, she seems to be doing a good job yeah. of just staying in her own zone here, staying focused, knowing that she may have to come out and repeat that. But they've circled to, s I think it's a press up they're looking at, and they're tr trying to now work out, is it her shoulder moving? I mean, I uh, mean there is, 
That is the Nothing. most ridiculous call if they go for a press out. Press out. I mean, where where was the press out? She was absolutely robbed there. Well, let's see what they. Will they turn it over? They, what? They took it from her. Well, they it, they already get, took it. They cha played the challenge card, and the jury aren't turning it back over. That is the most. Again, I think this is the second time where I've said this. That's that an athlete has, has been robbed. Yeah, I mean, that, that was an lift. atrocious call. When they trained so hard. That's extraordinary. I mean, that is just the most ridiculous thing. Lisa Schweitzer now will take 126 kilos to further stabilize her bronze medal position. Big personal best, six kilo personal best. Uh, falls so back, but Sarah can still do it. Yep, she's got one more. She makes this 126. But you know what? Celia Gold is also in a position to yes. try and leapfrog. Yes. So been waiting in the wings here. Who's going to take it? Because Sarah has a higher ceiling than Celia Gold. GB could let Celia do it, and then they would just have to take 127 also. Well, based on the way the last oh, two have gone, she, she really would be smart to take 26. I'm still shocked that I can't they believe didn't that. give her that second attempt. I, I don't understand what on earth. They circled her shoulder to see if it was her shoulder moving rather than her elbow, but... It was an atrocious call. You know, when these athletes train so hard, they come to these competitions, and they just expect to be officiated correctly, and then they get a call like that. Yeah, it was certainly extremely strict. She's a veteran, though. She knows that the rules are the rules. The oh, call sometimes the they call. are. Well, the call is a call. The call is a call, yeah. She's got to deal with what's in front of her right now. She's clearly capable of it. Just made this lift. Yeah. 126 puts her into third. A little forward. She double bounces. Yeah, she's up. up. She's got a good jerk. She can stabilize. And that time, if she could just hold it a little bit longer, which she has done, surely. Three whites. And she's an act done of it. frustration as she just wow. looks at the judges and says, what on earth were you doing? You know, you one of those, me of an opportunity for another lift. One of those moments where the best revenge is success, comes back and makes it. So now, of course, Celia Gold has just bumped another kilo to 128 kilos because that will be the lift that she needs to leapfrog Sarah by a kilo and guarantee herself a bronze medal. Yeah, gold makes this, it would give her 227. One kilo up on Davies. Five attempts remain, two for Loredana, two for Miserandino, and this lift, no, sorry, and another lift for Celia Gold. Miserandino out now at 128 kilos for her second attempt, a huge personal best for her, but that opener looked pretty, yeah. pretty light. Yeah, she's made considerable progress in the clean and jerk for sure. It's very tough. Yeah, that forward clean grinds out the recovery. Wow, can she? Uh, not quite. Yep. That jerk is just a little forward, her hips behind the bar when she actually splits. It's so difficult to get yourself back under when the weight's in mm -hmm. front of you like that. And that depth that she has, is. You know, it gives her everything in the snatch, but it just is so punishing yeah, in the clean, it. just there. Just early wow. and forward on the clean. But she's got a bit of rest because Celia Gold will take 128 kilos because it's a lift that she needs to move into bronze ahead of Sarah Davies. This is the most important lift of Gold's career. This for a medal. Oh, wow, yeah. and she's so strong in the jerk. Powerful clean. Oh, wow, and she can't do it. 
that was her opportunity at a medal. Sarah Davies from Great Britain has a guaranteed bronze in the total. The battle now continues between Julia Miserandino and Loredana Toma. Well, Miserandino is going to take this 28. Yeah. She can't move ahead with that. No, so, so she's guaranteed the silver, Toma the gold, but three attempts remain. Will we see Loredana take any attempts after Miserandino? Maybe one more for the gold and the clean and jerk. Yeah, but possibly. I would oh. not be surprised if I she... I think they're going to move. I think that Mr. is moving up. I couldn't imagine a 31. That's just... 31 would... Uh, wow, 130. She, I think she'll do 31. Because 31 will at least put a... Well, it might temporarily put her in the lead if Loredana misses this. But, I mean, her opener was a bit shaky. We've never seen 125 yeah. move like that for Laura Donna. She, she she's been closer to snatching that than <laughs> in the past. Yeah, she's so powerful, though. She's so strong, you know, potentially. Uh, yeah, even when she missed times the clean, which is rare, yeah. she just rockets up from a dead stop. Yeah. She can fight through a 130. That's not ideal. And you know, she's done so much more. Second attempt for Loredana. This will be the solidifying lift for her. Oh, very strong. Now watch that front foot. Oh, yeah. She and pushed herself through too much on that. That front foot is taking longer and longer. I'm sure every yeah. competition I see, it moves later and later in that split jerk. The back foot is more than planted before the front foot moves at all. I don't think we've seen this kind of struggle from her at lighter weights like this, 130. I think we will see 31 by Miserandina. That would be a... She'll have a shot at a gold in no, total. No, she's taking the 30. Now this is... Well, presumably if she makes it, Toma's got to go up a kilo. But if she makes it, if she did one kilo more, she would be in the lead. Yeah, you know, we've seen a few calls like this yeah. throughout the meet, just taking a kilo less than what would be necessary. So this will... But this is Keep a keeper in silver. Huge lift for Miserandino. Could be a gold in the cleaner jerk. Ah, just too heavy today. But 230 kilos is a personal best in the total for her. It's a personal best in the cleaner jerk at 125 too. She just needs more strength. She's still young, 23 years of age, I believe. So she has plenty of time in her career to get the leg strength that athletes like Laura Dana Toma, who is five years her senior, has been able to develop. Yeah, you know, it may even be a matter of back strength in her case. So Laura Dana, Sarah Davies has the current gold yeah. medal lift in the clean and jerk. That's extraordinary. This is exactly what happened to Zoe. How it transpired. Yeah. Toma D just needs one lift to surpass her. She's going to get gold in the total, but she's only second in the clean and jerk right now. The world champion looking under a lot of pressure. Not her best day. She's very powerful. It's yeah. a just even better clean. Just as strong. And yeah. That's got to be the one that holds. Yep, she's got it. <laughs> that's got it. And, you know, she is a European champion. She's just going to take a moment to thank everybody for the support. Leaves she her equipment on the platform there. Yeah, I'm which not is... not sure what that means. You know, historically, leaving your shoes on the platform is a sign of retiring. She's surely not retiring. She's obviously a, a favorite for the Olympic gold medal. But... It's a statement. It means something. We don't necessarily know what it means. We'll try and find out after this competition. But, um, yeah, so the bronze medal in the total to Sarah Davies, 100 kilo snatch, 126 kilo clean jerk. What a difficult session for her. She had a second attempt taken away for her unfairly. She passed out after her opener, stuck it on a third, 226 in the total. Julia Miserentino from Italy will take the silver medal, 105-125. Loredana Toma, the world champion, becomes European champion again with a 110 kilo snatch, 130 kilo clean and jerk, 240 
in the total, which is enormous. She took off some of her equipment at the end there. We don't quite know what that means. We'll try and find out. But that's going to be it from us. We will, of course, keep the stream going. You can watch that medal ceremony and see Toma, Julia, and Sarah Davies stand upon it. We'll also see Lisa Schweitzer from Germany step up there for a bronze medal in the snatch. She made that one as three. She was runner-up in the total. We'll be back in 40 minutes for the men's 81 kilo session. We'll see you there.